My name is Donna Ostoyski. Um, I grew up in Red Lake. I went to school. I left the community when I uh, was fall going to post-secondary. I'm a resident of Kitchener, Ontario, but I come up here in the summertime. Yes, I do love God. Uh, God is, uh, well, the backbone of my life. As I get older, um, I wasn't always this cognizant when I was younger, but as I get older, I realize that God has really been, um, has exercised a loving, gentle role in my life and has looked after, looked after me in my times of need, welcomed me back in my, when I came from uh, my sinful experiences without condemnation, without anything, he was just there. Yes, just, just the backbone of my life. My faith is very important to me. I grew up in a household where the presence of God was acknowledged, but in a silent way. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was kind of like a background scene. And then I went through a, a trial in my life, one of many. I, uh, I was found myself all alone and uh, a miracle actually took place for me. After that, I had my rebirth as a, a Christian. I think um, through, uh, by attending Mass, uh, you, um, you are in a community, so it's very important to feel as a part of the, your community. Uh, we can support each other, we can certainly pray for each other. And I think if, if I joined some ministries, then I would even be more involved in the church. You put yourself in the presence of God, you are in His house, uh, you are going to receive, you are participating in, in, the, in the liturgy and, 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 the, and the parts of the Mass and you're going to receive Jesus. I mean, uh, and then you get your blessing and, and you kind of feel like, like you're ready to go out and take on the world. Uh, you feel that strength and, and it's not a powerful strength, it is a very quiet strength. It's, it's like the quietness of a stream uh, in the forest not a babbling brook, just a quiet part of that brook. When you are going through a tough time, it's so easy to, <clears throat> it's a time when you're rocked and, and you're being shaken off that foundation. It's important that you remember Christ, you hold on to him. I remember the time when uh, Jesus was walking on the water. Peter said, is that you, Lord? And he said, yes, and, and Peter said, well, can I, can I come out with you there? He went out and, and then he started to sing. And, and what is very poignant about that, uh, that story in the gospel is that Christ immediately, immediately reached out and held him. So when you're going through that tough time and you remember Peter's experience, well, that experience is for each and every one of us if we remember that Christ is, uh, that he's there, so it's important to focus on him. Saying the rosary is important, uh, going through the repetition of the prayers and, and, and the different uh, mysteries and, and the petitions that, that, you, uh, that accompany the rosary. It kind of grounds you, it kind of anchors you and gives you something to hold on to also. So that's what I would advise for people. And talk to other people that are going through a similar, that, that may, you know, be able to be kind to you and relate to you in your times of trouble. If it's not for love, then we have nothing because everything else is then, then just a show. Uh, it is the exterior. Uh, love is, as Father was talking about in his homily today, it's that interior, it's that interior part that is inside of you, really determines on how you will do everything else, how you, how you look at your neighbor, how you, how you see the world. It is, it is the basic of basics. There is a prayer, and I can't remember it, but it talked about Christianity, and it said, in the home, Christianity is kindness. On the street, Christianity is politeness. And it goes through the different aspects of our life, and it just tells us what Christianity is. But it, being polite to people, being uh, considerate of people, seeing people, really looking at a person and seeing that person is an expression of love, I believe. Uh, praying for each other, helping each other if, if people need help and you're able to help them in any other way besides prayer. 
I have discovered in my life that you can talk to people, you can try to help people, and they may not always be receptive to you, but prayer is that, it's that spirit that just flows and just gets to where you want it, where you believe you want it to go. And it'll, and it'll go through everything. But that's not to say it's not important. It's very important to help people uh, physically and to be present in their lives. Mm -hmm.